Hi, we will continue our physics lesson with chapter 2, which is Kinematics of Linear Motion. What is kinematics? Kinematics is the study of how things move, and linear motion is the motion of an object along a straight path. For example, sprinters running on a straight athletic track and a train running on a straight railway track. For this topic, we will have two subtopics, which are 2.1 linear motion and 2.2 uniformly accelerated motion. In this video, we will discuss 2.1 first, which is linear motion. For linear motion, we need to define instantaneous velocity, average velocity, and uniform velocity. Define instantaneous acceleration, average acceleration, and uniform acceleration. And compare the following quantities, which are instantaneous velocity, average velocity, and uniform velocity. Instantaneous acceleration. Average acceleration and uniform acceleration. What are the terms that we need to know in linear motion? First, we need to know what is distance. Distance is the length of actual path between two points. The distance is a scalar quantity and the SI unit for distance is meter. What about displacement? Displacement is the distance between initial point and final point in a straight line, or we can call it as the shortest distance travel from one point to another point. Displacement is a vector quantity, which means that displacement has both magnitude and direction. The SI unit for displacement is meter. Let's take a look at the example here. A motorcyclist travels from his house to the factory. The distance travel is 200 meter, while the displacement is 120 meter in the direction of northeast. Next example, an airplane flies 600 kilometer north and then 400 km to the east. What is the distance and displacement traveled by this airplane? Remember that when we calculate the distance, we did not consider the direction. Therefore, the total distance travel is 1000 km. But when we calculate the displacement, we need to consider the direction. Therefore, using Pythagoras theorem, we will get displacement equal to 721 kilometer. What about speed? Speed tells us how fast an object is moving. For example, a car moves at 60 km per hour. The speed is a scalar quantity and the SI unit for speed is meter per second. Speed is defined as the rate of total distance travel or we can write V equal to distance travel divided by the time travel. What about average speed? Average speed is defined as a distance travel divided by the elapsed time or V equal to total distance travel divided by total time travel. What is the difference between speed and velocity? Velocity tells us how fast object is moving and in which direction it is moving. Therefore, velocity is a vector quantity since it has both magnitude and direction. For example, velocity 300 km per hour 
to the east. So we have both here magnitude and direction. The SI unit for velocity is meter per second. Velocity is defined as the change in displacement per unit time or the rate of change of displacement. There are a few terms for velocity which are average velocity, uniform velocity and instantaneous velocity. What is average velocity? Average velocity is the rate of change of displacement or we can write V average equal to delta S over delta T where delta S is the change in displacement and delta T is the time taken for the change. Uniform velocity is the motion that does not change in speed or direction, means that the value of velocity always constant with time, or motion that travels equal displacements per equal time travel time intervals. When your velocity is uniform, therefore magnitude is constant and direction remain unchanged. So when a car, for example, a car moves with uniform velocity, the average and instantaneous velocity are both equal. What is instantaneous velocity? Instantaneous velocity is the velocity of an object at particular time or specific time interval. Or we can write V equal to dS over dt. Example, an insect cross along the edge of a rectangular swimming pool of length 27 meter and width 21 meter. If it crosses from corner A to corner B in 30 minutes, what is its average speed and what is the magnitude of its average velocity? To find the average speed, we need to find the total distance Second, so the total distance travel is 48 meter divided by the time taken, 30 minutes change to second, so you will get 0 0.0267 meter per second. To find average velocity, we need to find the change in displacement. Therefore, using Pythagoras theorem, we will get 34.21 meter and we substitute into the equation and we will get 0 0.019 meter per second. Next, we have acceleration. So acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity or change in velocity divided by the time taken. The SI unit is meter per second squared. Since velocity is a vector quantity, therefore, change in velocity can occur. Either magnitude change or change in direction. Therefore, the acceleration can be due to the change in speed or magnitude, can be due to the change in direction or change in both speed and direction. Let's take a look at a few situation. So situation one, we have a car move from 40 km per hour to 80 km per hour to 0 km per hour. So we can see that the car move in the same direction, but the cheat but the speed is changing. Therefore, we can say that the car is accelerating. What about the second situation here? Here, the car moves in a roundabout. The car moves with constant speed, but the direction is changing. Therefore, we can say that the car is also accelerating. What about the trolley here at the roller coaster? For this trolley here, there will be both change in speed and direction. So we can say that the car or the trolley here accelerating. For acceleration, there are a few terms that we need to know. 
The first one is instantaneous acceleration where it is the acceleration at specific time or instantaneous acceleration is the limit of average acceleration as the time interval approach zero or we can write a equal to dv over dt average acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the time interval and uniform acceleration happen when the motion of the object is getting faster or slower at the same rate or the same change in velocity over a set period of time. What happens when an object is deceleration? Deceleration means that the object is slowing down. The direction of acceleration is opposed to the direction of motion or velocity. For example, the, you press the brake on a car. Therefore, the direction of motion and the direction of acceleration oppose each other. So the car will decelerate. Which car accelerate and which car is decelerating? Figure A and figure D shows that the car is accelerated because the direction of A and V are the same. But figure B and figure C shows that the car is decelerated because the direction of A and V are opposed to each other. Let's see an example here. A car travels in a straight line along a road. Its distance s is given as a function of time t by equation s equal to 2.4 t squared minus 0.12 t to the power of 3. Calculate the average velocity from 0 second to 10 second. Calculate the instantaneous velocity at 5 second and calculate instantaneous acceleration at 5 second. So, how to solve this problem? First, the average velocity is given by change in displacement divided by the change in time travel. First, we need to find the initial and the final displacement using the equation given. The initial displacement at t0 second is 0 meter and the final displacement at t10 second is 120 meter. Therefore, substitute into the formula, we will get the average velocity is equal to 12 meter per second. What about the instantaneous velocity? To find instantaneous velocity, we need to differentiate the equation. Therefore, V equal to dS over dt. So, when we differentiate the equation, we will get 4.8t minus 0.36t squared. Substitute t equal to 5 second and we will get V equal to 15 meter per second at t5 second. What about instantaneous acceleration? To find instantaneous acceleration, we need to differentiate once again. So, A equal to dV over dt. So, we will get 4.8 minus 0.72t. Substitute t equal to 5 second. And we will get A equal to 1.2 meter per second squared. So, in the next video, we will discuss about the graph for topic 2. See you later. Thank you.